Hello, it's Maria Lane, and I've just finished a Facebook Live event, and um, I think I may have missed out on pulling a card for some people that came on just before I signed off, so I thought, here we go. I'm going to do another quick message for anybody that's watching this. This is just for you. Um, interesting, the cards are flying out. Um, I love my jumpers. Um, I think I heard Doreen Virtue say that. And we have a couple here, number one, that came flying out the pack. So this is for you, if you're watching this. And I love these messages because um, there's always something in them for me as well. That sounds a little bit <laughs> um, narcissistic, doesn't it? It's all about me, 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 me. But no, um, I feel that, you know, I, I believe in the mirrors of life. And I believe that, you know, those that connect with me and vice versa, we share something similar. And... Boredom and disconnect. Um, this card comes up often, and I just feel that there is. This would not happen. We would not feel boredom, or we would not feel disconnect. Ah, this is it. It's that disconnection from source, and we're cutting off our inspiration, we're cutting off the love and all the guidance that is available to us every millisecond of every day. But we're not tuning into it and oh now i see how this is all starting to flow because this is the card that jumped out hot on the heels of this one they virtually come out together crown chakra so of course if we open up if we take the time out to allow our crown to part and to allow all that wisdom to flow through us then this can never be this it, it would be impossible because we'll always be operating on divine guidance and we're tuning in to divine guidance and a little pesky fly that's been <laughs> with me for the last hour it's like I'm taunting you that's okay I get the message so here we go so this cannot be if we practice this which is meditation opening up trusting those words oh I sound like a broken record but anyway okay so now let's see and there was two 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 just ticked over so let's see what the other three cards I'm going to share with you are all about oh so perhaps some of that emotional um, disconnection has come about because of a perceived um, emotional event from the past and I think it's a common thing that's coming up today um, if you didn't see the Facebook live event I actually mentioned that as I was driving and doing a mental preparation for this I've just decided that when I come back from my shopping spree I will do a quick live um, I wasn't planning on doing it and I got the feeling about abandonment and why did I have that feeling my little dog Bonnie I think I introduced her last week she's been with me for two weeks now and this poor little creature has been on her third home in less than six months and she's really feeling the effects of anxiety and uncertainty and and I thought oh it's to do with the abandonment that she she's experiencing and she's really quite what's the word unsure of everything right now and it's up to me to give her that reassurance and I think that's where we need to turn to divine and trust that all that reassurance that we're seeking from this emotional loss that void will be healed it will be filled with love and everything that you know I was gonna say everything that we want but then we are here having a human experience so if we got everything that we wanted we would not have the expansion so it's about going with the flow I think so let's see what the next card is oh, <laughs> intuition of course so that goes along with what I was saying earlier open up to that crown chakra and there we go thank you very much for that and trust that internal guidance trust that that feeling that you get that's guiding you and I remember Esther Hicks saying a long time ago the stronger the negative feeling the stronger the calling is from divine to say come back come back the other way change the way you're looking change the way that you're feeling change the way that you're perceiving this event come back and all will be well it's getting a bit dark in here can you hear the rain oh, I love the rain um, and what's the third card in this little oh look what a nice flow and this is what's waiting for us when we do 
when we trust in God, God essence, whatever that power is, whatever you're, you feel comfortable with, um, that's going to descend upon us when we trust our intuition and we can finally let this go. All right. And then we have these other two, which with jumpers, you know, time to reconnect through our crown chakra. Do what you can. Intention setting, all of this new gateway, new beginnings is coming our way. We've got, yeah, I'm pretty excited about the um, the return of Saturn. I've been listening for quite a while now, past few months, about this phenomena, which starts on the 19th of December. Um, just go with the flow, people. Just go with the flow. You know, if something pops up that you weren't expecting, just go with the flow. That they're my parting words. Um, okay, thank you very much for allowing me to be the messenger, and I am available if you're still listening to me to do some um, messages for 2018. It's more clarity. I don't, I don't do predictive messages. I just like to provide validation that possibly um, what you're seeking. And I always go above and beyond and I always like to include a surprise, a surprise something. So, okay, thank you very much everyone. I will um, get this uploaded and I will see you sometime during the week. Bye for now.